Hello everyone, my name is Bishman100, back with another video after such a long, long, long wait. Yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video. I do not know where I was going with that. But anyways, um, today I've decided to do something that I really wanted to do, but eh, it's it's hard giving doing a critique and yeah, basically hard doing a critique when being as mediocre as myself. Like I think I'm good, but yeah, that's the thing. It's hard because you mess up. It's like your your skill your skill level really shows when you're critiquing someone else. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna do it regardless because I come from a belief that if you want to learn something, you should be able to teach it. Wait, that's not how it goes. <laughs> I fucked that up. No, if you wanna really learn something, you should be able to teach. Yeah, I just said the same thing. I just said it correct the first time. God damn it. Yeah. Um. If you want to really learn something. You should teach it to other people. That way, it really you really solidify what you've learned in your head because you know the ins and outs of it. Because that's what teaching really forces you to do, knowing exactly <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> because you can't really teach if you don't know <laughs> shit. <laughs> ah, that's a great intro. That was the best intro. So, um, what I have here is a little... I'm going to do a little critique on a person who goes by the username of Alexander LR. The reason I'm doing this is because I recently, I mean by recent, I mean I think it's been like a month? Hang on, hang on, no, no, it's been two months I think. Um, uh, I noticed he put one of my artwork into a little folder called Artwork I'll be reviewing on my channel. And will you look at that, he has a channel where he reviews even our account and he's nice too so that's a plus i'm looking at you fucking <laughs> anyways it's not that <laughs> um people are just mean or something um but yeah i saw that and i'm like oh a little exposure that sounds like fun but then i recently and this time it's actually recent like very recent like a week ago or something i looked at the folder and it's just like full <laughs> Like, I can't even find my artwork in that folder. Either he took it out or he's just buried under so much art. And he's only got, like, he makes, like, yeah, the re he's not making enough videos to really compensate for the amount of stuff that's getting in that folder. So, I thought to myself, well, if he's not going to do the review, I might as well review myself. No, that's not how it works. I'll review him. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna show him his, basically his account because he has a very interesting art style. I'm just gonna give an overall critique over about his style. I'm just gonna say style in a very loose manner for him because, yeah, if I could describe his art style, it's like, his art style is made for something to be animated in Flash. And I'm not talking like nowadays kind of Flash, like, back then new grounds kind of flash everything has this i'm not i'm not trying to like yeah his artwork is good sometimes it's like a hit or miss because he draws a lot of fan art of, of, of all sorts of cartoon shows and basically he just he copies it really nicely the art style of the show but the thing about copying art styles from tv shows especially cartoons is that it, it just leaves it it feels like it's without a soul, basically. It feels from the looks of it, not very much. He knows how to make a ground line. He knows how to draw the ground and the background. So that's that's a start. That's a good start. So, but anyways, if I'm going to critique him, it's kind of... Eh, I have to find out what his original art style is. And that's kind of hard to find because he does a lot of fan art, basically. So it's really hard to pinpoint what he's lacking in a way because this art is a little bit beyond just anatomy which he gets the gist of it basically he still does a little sausage thing so yeah it's a start but yeah it's a lot of more fine subtler things i just went on a rant without even doing anything it's like this blank screen <laughs> oh man that's a great way to do a video um <coughs> so yeah um 
But yeah, if I'm gonna critique, I might as well pull whatever out. So basically, this is the closest I can find to something that's his art style and that isn't raunchy because apparently this guy does do a lot of smut. <laughs> and yeah, so not gonna review that because I don't know, YouTube's being a dick right now. Um, I, I want money, please. Um, so yeah, this is probably the closest I can get. And even then, you can see under that skirt, but <laughs> why am I zooming in? <laughs> why, am I, why am I zooming in on that part? Yes, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, let's just look at this and analyze it for a second. Just take a moment to appreciate what we have here. This is, I believe it's Fiona from like Adventure Time. That's a good show. Less noodly arm, so that's just my first indication. This is the original art style, but if I'm not mistaken, Fiona has like big beefy legs, so... <laughs> That's interesting. That's a very interesting take on that style though. So like it's semi-realistic. The face is adventure time, but it's adventure time. You can't really do like real eyes and it doesn't look adventure time anymore. So yeah, let's see. Um, but one of the things that, I, that really helps with stiff drawings is to have a good flow basically. And you can see when I look at this, it's like, okay, basically a flow is just this is a flow, like a smooth line. You see the straight line? That's just Photoshop fucking up, so don't judge me too hard. Because apparently my mouse is so fast, my computer can't keep up. It kept up. Okay, so... Um, what do we have here? So basically, let's just draw all the lines that I see. We have this line, this line. Like two. That's a nice shape right there. Simplifying shapes. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, this is basically the image that we have right now. Actually, it looks pretty good. Actually, <laughs> that flow is pretty decent. But um, actually, hang on a second. If I'm gonna comment on anything, if I could like anything, get rid of this. Is this line here? I really like that line though. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, um, if I could just, I am, I am rusty, I've done this once, so do apologize, this is like my second time, so basically if I could establish like its main flow, it's basically a straight line that shoots right through like that, and it's, it's a good, it's good, it's focused, but for a person, it's not very balanced, if you know what I mean because like person kind of like falling but not quite I, I don't know it looks like pretty awkward actually I mean you could probably get away with this kind of thing but it's like there's nothing to indicate like the person's falling down to this point here it's just like person falling into the fields like like fra la 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 <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that is a lovely representation of the pose. I'm gonna have fun with this video, so... You can take it seriously, you can't take it seriously, I don't really care. But yeah, definitely trying to keep this, but trying to make it feel a bit more grounded, because the person kinda looks like it's falling, or not stable or something, I don't know. It's like, it's exaggerated, but not exaggerated enough. But, uh, um, yeah, like... Basically, yeah, that's the problem with this image. It's like it's exaggerated, but not exaggerated enough. Because we have this pose, this leg is obviously kicked back way beyond. It's like ballerina shit going on there. Mmm, lovely. Mm, lovely legs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that. Uh, originally, I was planning on tilting it so that the person looks like he's like hopping around like that, but eh, let's just have it, let's just have this original thing and go with that. Okay, so, the thing about flow is, fuck, the thing about flow is, uh, wait, um, okay, <laughs> the thing about flow is basically to have, well, flowy lines, that's the gist of it, like I said, for my computer doesn't like keeping up with 
big brushes so I'm just going to have to deal with this for now so basically let's just have that then I have a f nice flowy line that goes like that so that's our flow first I'm looking this way whoop trying to keep as close as I can actually no actually just like yeah uh, what? what am I saying okay so just keep as close as I can to the original drawing because that's never really fun have a nice flow to it everything at a jaunty angle nothing nothing's exactly horizontal that neck that head is like tilted back a bit no that's good that's good okay so that's body I should draw the rest of the body actually hang on a second so this is the front this is a this is a flow line actually. Hang on a second. Yeah, there. Lighten that up a bit. Pull this up, and yeah, uh, hope you have this line, this line. Cause the legs kind of kick back like that. Maybe yeah, we're gonna exaggerate it as it is. Like kick back and just straight up like that, and the arm sort of doing its thing I don't like this intersection though it's like yeah I don't like this intersection <laughs> we should fix that actually I can with the power of art I can fix it <sighs> what did I <laughs> what was that move? oh man this is great <laughs> okay hang on oh, oh, wrong brush and there have the leg kick back like that so the person's chest is like facing forward and his uh, hips are also facing forward and like this which is like facing directly at us I can't really draw wait uh -huh. a line facing directly at us and that's not it's not that it's not dynamic it's dynamic it has a little twist to it but it's not dynamic for this pose because the person is kind of running so why would their hip like face towards us I mean, it does tilt like when you run, but like I said, it just tilts slightly. So we should have it like this. The hip should be facing in this direction. Notes taken. Let's begin with the anatomy thing. I'm gonna keep with spine first. Spine's a nice curvy shape. Yeah, the, by the way, the spine's an S shape, so just remind, remember that. It's like a very subtle S shape. A lot of curvy lines, but that just takes a lot of confidence in your lines, so you could develop that. Not gonna go too hard on that part. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way of just noodling shapes. Okay, this is a nice shape. Have that there. Leg start here. Actually, you know, we can. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know where to start. I have. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? <laughs> um, draw the chest. Chest facing forward. Facing. Chest facing forward. Like that. This is like a rib cage where the torso comes out. But I'm not going to do that. What I like to do is draw a tear shape. Because this is like the chest and then your abs. And then you draw another circle where this like ends. Draw another circle. Gonna fit both these lines in here. And have it another teardrop shape from there. So we have base let me that is let me just lighten that line a bit. <laughs> okay, so basically we have two teardrop shapes. This is basically the arrow and this is the back. So basically we have two shapes that just come into each other. Like nicely suggestive. I shouldn't use the word suggestive. That could <laughs> that could get me more demonetized. Oh no, <laughs> I I'm just starting out. No, not yet. Okay. So another thing for about art for about art about art is a little thing. Not for the legs. <laughs> I just like went off a tangent right there. Now for the legs. So what's it gonna do to do, do the good old sausage legs? Okay, so start with this shape here. What am I doing? So hard. Draw a little sausage leg. Not quite sausage legs though. It's like 
it's good to like have like spades against curves. That's another thing I remember reading about. Basically, yeah, spades against curves. So you have like, basically, I have to, I need to stop repeating myself, but that's just a problem I have. So yeah, like a curve and a spade, and a curve and a spade has a little nice flow to it. Basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Sh that's another thing you should try and accomplish in your work. Uh, oh. I see the legs. Oh, that legs was that's broken. That legs broken. <laughs> Anatomy is hard. You should just stop. I'm just gonna do a sausage leg. I'll fix that. <laughs> I'll fix that flow later. Okay, so draw the leg. Put the piece like that. <sighs> Close enough. And from behind the leg, the butt starts behind here. Like always pull from like the center. I don't know. Like the front. You draw like a circle. Like this is the front. This is the back. Pull from the back. Because no one has a, if you pull from like the center, it's gonna have like this weird thigh gap thing going on. And Fiona isn't really someone with a thigh gap. Finn does. That sexy, <laughs> sexy boy. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing with my life? So I'm just gonna pull this leg from the back here. Pull like that. Always overlap your sausages if you pull from like. Overlap your sausages, basically. They're not even sausages, I'm drawing like a bunch of teardrop shapes. And that's how you should do them. And have her feet actually planted on the ground slightly. Whoops. Okay, now for the chest. Like the collarbone. So what I like to do is like this. When I draw a chest. Like, and draw an oval. Like when I draw a chest. It's like. You have the collarbone area, but you extend it because your collarbone kind of does this shoulder less and less rest in here and your scapula behind like that. So what I like to do is just make it one continuous shape like that. That's how I draw my shoulders. So I should do that. So like have it slightly like that. Oh no, perspective, my only weakness. <laughs> And this gonna goes back in space and like sh chest actually it goes back in space and time. Uh, and circle like right here. Oh here. No here, definitely back here. So I'm gonna fix that shoulder. That shoulder's I don't like that shoulder. I can have the undo button. Undo saves the day. We can't really do that technique here. Because anatomy is harder than it seems. It's like a frog behind me. Okay, so there's the two shoulders. The neck pops out from here. And then the head. I'm gonna keep the head relatively where it is because it's nice where it is. Like a frog croaking out my window. And I'm gonna. Her head is like. This is like way too straight in my opinion compared to the current pose, so I'm just gonna exaggerate that. Like, it currently is like this, and it's like too f flat. <coughs> so, oh, I'm gonna do that for the head. Okay, now for the rest of the arm, I'm gonna do some bunch of noodlies again. One noodly, and then another noodly. Arms like, poised, like 90 degrees, Johnny Angle, mm, lovely. So the other arm, this arm is going to be raised up for some reason, don't question me yet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm going to have this. And we're done. Look at that pose. I feel like I haven't done much to improve it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I haven't done, like I've... Be, uh, I'm going to opposite of exaggerate. Desaggerate. <laughs> Desaggerate. Uh, yeah, but I've unexaggerated this image. But yeah, that's what I've done. But it works either way. You can either push it or 
dial it back a bit. So I'm gonna do that, dial it back a bit. Because I am not gonna <laughs> exaggerate it too much. Because I don't feel like it. And also this piece doesn't look like some that very exaggerated in the first place. If they're gonna exaggerate it, the arms get pushed all back and whatnot. <sighs> I don't wanna think about that right now. So we have our little sketch and I'll sketch over one more time. Got his face for now. Mm, beautiful. See another emo. Is she? Does she have like a hair? Yep. I am. I am. Mm, I'm gonna draw the other eye because it's always better to do that. gonna cover it we'll do that later so I'm not gonna reference anything but the drawing itself because that's referencing other things is hard and also I recorded this video and I don't want to go on the internet because my connection is not here yet Uh, you know what? Let's reference this properly. Here it is. Curls in the back. Little bunny ears. Okay. I completely forgot <laughs> what it looks like. Hang on. Hang on. Um, okay. <laughs> Hair does that. And then, like, the face mask kind of comes on. It's, like, surprisingly tight fit around her face. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. And then her hair, but she's like landing down, so mm, might as well have her hair all go poof. So like, uh, hang on, I haven't done this in a while. Like the hair should follow the flow. That's the thing about hair. Like hair is on fire. <laughs> or at, at the very least, like have it like this. the very least have it fall because that was a bit exaggerated before and the bunny ears oh yeah these things are like stiff for some reason these things are like stiff okay there's that like the hair strangling her neck her outfit isn't very hard so I think I can work from there <laughs> it looks like it looks like her hair's like strangling her neck. <laughs> like majestic. Like a scarf. <laughs> and where's your hair like a scarf? I wonder if like people long hair do that actually, like ever thought about doing that with their hair like wear their hair like a scarf or something. Yeah, that like sounds like fun. What am I doing? Oh yes. Establishing the hair we should do like Kim Possible hairstyle for now. I'll like fix that later. I keep saying that, but do I actually fix it? Who knows? Tune in next time. Okay, that's dumb. So, and then now the part where we actually have to fix stuff. Oh, Joey's days. Okay, time for the shirt. Because the, we have the anatomy down, so might, no need to fix that anymore. Person's like coming down, so anything that's not the body is just gonna get pulled back a bit, so I'm gonna have. Her sleeve raised up like that. Tight, uh, tight. Shirt's a bit taut, so we're gonna have that line there. Mm -hmm. Make a little crease here because it's where creases normally go. And don't forget the boob. Like, like that. And then down. Shirt's gonna be slight, tight. Actually, uh, should I like have the shirt flow up like that? That does add to it actually. I'm gonna do that. Get rid of the boobs. Okay, so like shirt. I'm gonna catch a bit of wind because she's falling down. So whoosh. Form. The boobs like magically <laughs> glue. <laughs> like glue the shirt onto her <laughs> chest. Uh, just have. I should probably draw this beforehand because 
Yeah, because you don't I know this weird scenario where like I wanna it's gonna the shit's gonna fall onto it, but Yeah, screw it. That looks nice anyways. Because the shirt's I'm gonna tame it down a bit. There we go. Like that. And have a crease that goes across like that. Erase this crease here because it's messing up with the other crease. Oops. Like that. And now we can do this because we're seeing on the leash, little belly button, that anime V thing that occurs. And her shirt like poofs up on this side as well. Gotta get that proportion right, it's like halfway up her arm, so we're gonna do that. The shirt's kind of cuts off actually because it goes behind so I'm gonna cut it off entirely and yeah this is what I meant by the straights against curve thing it's not really the alternating much but it does it's it's the same concept basically like you have a straight and then you have like a bunch of curves like in a curve thing if it's like two sausages it'll look like a sausage <laughs> so yeah that's the thing like same goes with this arm. Usually it's like when you hold your arm straight, it's usually the bottom of the arm. Depends on where your wrist is. Like is it palm up or palm down or something like that? I don't know. Something just fell in my room. Oh no. Got the spoops. Is that is it Sue? Sue, would you stop it please? I don't like it. I'm feeling spoops. Oh no. What time is it? <laughs> I actually do feel very scared right now for some reason. <laughs> uh, shouldn't have drank that too much coffee. My, is, my heartbeat is making me even... My heartbeat isn't helping me right now. <laughs> okay, there's your arm. There's your flow. This arm is derpy, so I will remember to fix that. Actually, no, wait, hang on a second. This arm is like way... Shorter than this arm here. Like the arm should be like here, but this arm is like way down here. <laughs> so we should fix that real quick. Boop, boop, boop. The joys of technology. I remember having to erase it every time I mess up. Ah, good times. Let me make this fat. You know what? Just get rid of it. Oh, that didn't get rid of it. Get rid of that. Let's draw the arm again. If you mess up, just draw again. This is what any good old artist will do. Like, draw it again. Until, because it builds character and makes your jaw right. Every time. And that's her arm pose. Okay, get that flow down. I have to <laughs> sketch this. This is sketch number two. Oh, the number of iterations on this is nonsense. Let's look at that pose again. She has like a skirt, like a what is it called? Pleats or something? I don't know. The pleats is quite facing down, but it's gonna catch wind as well, so it's gonna go like boom. <laughs> like an umbrella. <laughs> gotta, gotta get them pen shots. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be. We're gonna be um, very civil about this. Her butt doesn't go all the way down here. <laughs> because th this line, this is where crotch starts. Not down here. I made a mistake in that drawing. <laughs> okay. So, knowing that, we're gonna do that. And, hang on. Draw like this. And like this. Okay. Draw like this. Then like this. Have it all in one continuous shape. Because this is taut because this is her leg pushing against it. This is not because this is the leading edge and all that wind getting up there. It's getting, getting rather windy <laughs> up there. <laughs> what is up with me and all these innuendos? <laughs> oh man, this is what happens when I review someone who draws smut. Like right before recording, like, oh man. <laughs> okay, so now for the legs. 
okay, the legs kind of like facing towards us actually or facing this direction that's kind of hard <sighs> mm. okay I'm gonna do a curve maybe it should usually be a straight line but uh, yeah I should make a straight line though like it's not doesn't have to be exactly straight just has to have the appearance of being straight and then you have the foot which is normally a triangular sh shape like that that is like broken give me a second and also it has a weird tangent with that foot so I'm gonna fix that and normally what I do is I draw like a little nub like that extend that line extend here and that's how I draw feet best tutorial 10 out of 10 overlap there it's still overlapping but not as I can bad as that I mean it's I still don't like the overlap though but oh well okay so now for the lower half of the foot I think this is like an hour long video oof oof that that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna really feel it I pulled too far back on this like like I said you start from here from here and the leg muscles do that you have there like that but I'm gonna ignore that and draw a straight line <laughs> and do that and like I said with before draw a stub have it taper off continue the pose hang on that's not right calf ends here so stand up continue that line pull heel and there is her foot lovely and going to like that's like 50 percent yes now for like the final line work now to refine it we're gonna put a smaller breath is it still recording it's still recording great okay have a sm slightly smaller brush so we can start drawing the hair hair is always not fun with a mouse because ugh mouse eek <laughs> okay so I'm gonna just leave gaps in the hair it gives the same impression my arms hurting I don't know why my ghosties are biting my arms Almost uh -huh. draw the eyes with like those circles. Have it be the same size roughly. What I like hang on a second. Get rid of those extras. There we go. And have like a little corner of the mouth. That's always a fun thing to do. Have it on one side. The side that's facing away from you. Draw the rest of the mouth. Hang on, it's not. No, we don't need that realistic. <laughs> it needs to be simple. Like that, that style doesn't fit this face. So we're gonna just do a simple D shape to our mouth. But you gotta get it right though, because art. Where I'm from, it literally means fine. <laughs> so that's a fun fact for all you peoples. Art means fine. No, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna hack it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a cheat. I uh, straight lines are like the bane of my existence. It's like <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> we still need that for. God damn it. Uh, I hate this so much. We have to do straight lines regardless. Uh, how do I make it look good? Eh, there we go. Needs to just flare out a bit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Have it be. There we go. Still look like sticks. Unless draw the tip, hang on, just have it curve in like that. 
and the girls use sausages on their heads instead of those weird popsicle sticks. Because sausages are good because they have meat on them. Just like this girl here. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoa, what? What happened there? The Photoshop just bugged out. Big, big meaty ears. Or beefy ears. Fans are all on. Okay, so. I'm gonna draw this. Perfect circle. You know what? You can't judge. You're not the boss of me. Adventure time style. I'm gonna give her a nice chubby cheek. Because you're not the boss of me. <laughs> what am I doing? That was perfect. I got that line perfect and I just got rid of it. <laughs> no. Uh. Okay, we got that line down. This line. Feels like it hugs the face quite a bit. That looks. <laughs> that does not look right at all. Oof. This is the hard part. Like making things look right. Because apparently my face was off the entire time. So now I have to face my consequences and own up to it. But I don't want to be responsible. So we're going to give her a chubby cheek so it also because it hides it better. <laughs> it hides the weird oblong sausage that I've drawn for a face. And it wraps around the face. Like so. Lovely. Ta-da. I should make this like one line. This is bugging me when I'm looking at it. Should like have it be one continuous line fix this rough spot here because we're gonna refine it even though this is a, s a sketch but eh, we've seen we've all seen those artists who are like oh it's just sketch quotation mark and have a bit of sh shading under the neck because that's what he did before i'm gonna do that as well 80 percent cool yeah so it is 80 percent Mm-hmm, and then the rest of her shirt is this. So it kind of starts here. I have a slight indication because her clothes all puffy right now. And the sleeve, puffy sleeves. This. I'm gonna have it start a bit lower because like I said boobs go in the way gotta get them boob physics right okay so we have that and this back here have it lead into the crease down there I'm gonna give a bit of a gap because that's a style thing point for that and continue this shape here actually I like to put a little gap usually to show a bit of thickness the illusion of thickness probably gonna draw a line cross hashing <laughs> cause I don't know you're not the boss of me boss Straight line, gotta go fast if you want to draw straight lines, that's another tip. It goes in slightly and then stops because that's where the elbow is. And then the rest of the arm picks up. And then for this, you draw the thumb pad. That's not what it's called, but I don't care. Thumb. And... Base of the palm, 
other fingers, overlapping fingers. The fan, the fan is just clicking right above my head. I don't like that sound. Ugh. Okay. So the clothes in the back, little crease down there. Down the middle. It adds a bit of variety. Ugh. Okay, so the big poofy clothes. I have this start here. And I have it stop right there before it actually touches it. And like that. You could probably add a crease here. There. I uh, know, don't add a crease there actually. That's better that way. And give her that <laughs> thin belly despite the fact that she is pretty chunky. <laughs> actually, I could probably get away with that actually. Like <laughs> <laughs> eh, we made her thin. We made it this way, so might as well stick to it for now. And actually, no, hang on a second. Is that shirt correct? That shirt doesn't feel right. Um, wait, it like goes back here, the shirt goes this maybe? Chest facing that way, this way, I'll just deal with it for now, it's, it's good for now. So have that continue like that, continues off to the back here. Always remember that when drawing lines and whatnot. And then her skirt is like this pleated or something. I'm pretty sure it's like a single piece though, it's like this single piece of fabric in adventure time, but it's not actually I think those are called pleats, like when you have like those shingle like things going on with the skirt. The skirts tend to do that because it kind of tightens around the top there. If not, it's just going to be like taut against her. I should do that actually, probably. Eh, should I? Should I not? To fluff or not to fluff? Okay, fine, I'll fluff it up. The jewel, because lower opacity because I'm going to do this really quick. So basically... Nope, that's not how you do fluffing. Just draw a bunch of lines across. Because then you can do... They'll all converge to a single point. And then you can do this. That looks horrible. I sure hope the undo button can compensate for my mistakes. It almost compensates for my mistakes. I can't do pleats. I'll have to learn how to do that. Back to me being a bag of mistakes. So, pull this down. I'm going to make it taut actually, you know what, screw it, have a seam that runs through here because this leg is pulling forward, this leg is pulling back, so we have a line that kind of like goes like that basically, but not quite like that because that just looks weird. Okay, skirt, continue this line and her and to keep it consistent I do my fake cross hatching because it's always good to fake cross hatching because it gives you an excuse to draw a bunch of straight lines I'm gonna stop right before this edge here because just to I don't know give it a bit of volume I'm gonna skip the knee altogether. That's not part of the style. So we'll just have a leg start like that. Basically. And yeah, uh, wait. Size. 
you don't have to draw exactly a straight line it just has to have the appearance of being a straight line and come down like that no oh well, ah yes there we go should be able to see but it should like stocking exactly where the limb where and up uh, where what do you call those joint starts is not good just looks weird okay there we go legs no need for ankles this is her right foot so wait what right foot no this is yeah there's a right foot so basically her feet is like this right now okay needle so i'm gonna do that basically because this is basically made of cloth apparently it's like soft tissue the shoe do bend that way though so that could be an excuse on my behalf i can use that excuse on mine to help me or something but yeah apparently if you like zoom out and draw a straight line you get like this weird artifact but i'm gonna keep it for now almost done okay now for the other leg draw this draw the knee draw the little skin crease where the two legs meet and then draw a stocking on the top because like i said drawing like a sock right on the joint it doesn't look good because it looks like the legs cut off or something for some reason that kind of the statement always makes me feel a bit scared uh my heart i should really cut down on the coffee i don't know the way they hang on a second this is the right foot so it should be like this aha Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not going to fix that. I'm going to leave it as it is and see if anyone notices. Anyone who watches this video will be like, you forgot to fix the foot. Okay, so do the same with this arm. Because they, they the meat. Kind of like a little skin crease there as well. The arms are a bit outsplayed as well. Okay, there's that, and now for the back hair here. Oh, that's a weird sentence, but oh well. The lack of editing will compensate for everything. <laughs> that's not how the least, that's not how the statement goes at all. Her hair has a bit of a curl to it though, but I'm not do that. Like, should I do that? It's like straight here and then. This is also another case of like straight again curve, but this is basically straight as opposed to this shape here. <laughs> um, should I? What is? What did he do here? No puffs of hair. Eh, nothing major. It's negligible, so I'm gonna just get that one there. And then do the hair exactly as I did before. And gonna double the image size so that I can put our side by side. Oops. Add it to this and double that so that's six point four four. It has been doubled. And let's see our results. This is before and this is after. Hang on, let me get rid of this. This is just distracting. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed this little review. 
And yeah. I do not know how to end the video, so I'm just going to end it really abruptly.